So very good afternoon to everyone. It's Raj from the Women in Gender podcast. We have a very special guest, uh, uh, Zhu on here with us today. Um, Hi. And uh, you, if you've been following Chinese, um, if you've been following Hollywood and Chinese cinema, you would have heard of her. Very, very talented actress, producer, director, so much stuff she's, she's doing. Uh, and as you can see, into the zone entertainment. How are you today, Izu? I'm very good. Good morning from Los Angeles to everyone. <laughs> oh, yes, morning down there. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. It is early in the morning. Yes, absolutely. Uh, fantastic. Uh, great stuff. So, I mean, you sent some stuff uh, which I've, I've read about. Uh, and you said you, you were raised in Rome, Italy. So tell us a bit about that, uh, about being raised in uh, Italy. I think I have the chance to be raised in Italy because uh, I think Italy is an extraordinary country full of uh, so much heritage and has really deeply um, formed my creativity and inspiration uh, growing up, you know, especially in the city of Rome with so many monuments and so much history and going to school there. Yes, it definitely, definitely. It, it was, it was, it was, it, it was absolutely has it has it does have a lot of her, heritage down there, and uh, so you were you were initially born in China. Yes, that's correct. Yes. Yes. You were born in China. So when did when did you go to Italy? How how old were you? When, uh, when I was seven and eight, so a very young seven. age, and uh, it has always. Um, you know, um, deeply both countries have influenced me. And I then returned to China after my studies in Europe. And it was great for me to be able to see um, a boom in China. And, you know, with um, with the penetration of luxury markets and the opening of the stores and and and, and the, the, all the digital platforms and the communication. And um, so I was very inspired by that as well. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you you've mentioned you've mentioned about Hollywood and the kind of a struggle you've had to face uh, being an Asian artist uh, actor. Uh, so 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 what? When did you decide to go into Hollywood? First of all, how how when 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 was that decided? Okay, I I, I want to go into Hollywood. Um, <laughs> and uh, what what was the plan? What was the plan on there? Well, I never wanted to really uh, go to Hollywood or go to anywhere necessarily because I think uh, I never I wasn't um, dreaming of becoming you know any sort of uh, entertainer uh, when I was a kid. I have always been passionate about art and arts, and I've always been an artist and and I always practiced art as well. You know, I studied calligraphy when I was little. So um, I think the move to Hollywood has been um, organic because I really like um, the, the the weather in LA and I like uh, really sunny places. And second of all, I think having grown up in Europe and in China, I wanted to just challenge myself in a new environment, um, in, a, in a new country, uh, to be able to learn and so it naturally i think happened um without planning uh, necessarily to um start any career in hollywood i wasn't one of those people that said oh i'm gonna pack my bag and <laughs> make a career in hollywood absolutely <laughs> yeah. um so when i first came to la i started my brand uh, which is called global intuition in 2019 we launched and and then we had okay. um, a couple of years of pandemic uh, pause and we have um relaunched lately and uh, we have an upcoming uh, event uh, this Friday which is going to be a fundraising collaboration for you and women we're really happy it's called a thousand nights and um, proceeds will be donated to you and women and so this is by my brand global intuition and then I also started into the sun in the US uh, entertainment it's my production um, company uh, I wrote TV and movies so um, movies Slate, and we partner with different companies 
chance to, um, you know, to bring the slate to life. So I have written uh, the movies and I have also created uh, the intellectual properties of those uh, IPs. And uh, so um, I'm, I'm really excited. And we also have a production arm in Rome um, mm. because my Italian heritage and also because the Italian government gives great incentives uh, since the past years. So um, it's great to be able to, you know, um, promote the country where I grew up and have the Italian citizenship as well. And to be able also to benefit the great tax incentives and of course help the Italian cinema as well as, you know, the international collaborations. Okay, so so that, that was the idea behind launching Italy so, so, you, so you can do some collaborations and yes, that kind of uh, yes, and bring yeah. you know great great projects to be mm. shot in Italian territory and leverage Italian culture, Italian savoir faire, which is great. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and uh, just to quickly mention, first of all, this is your website. Uh, yes. Uh, this is your website, your official website, mm -hmm. uh, which tells everyone about what you, what you've done and how you donate, what you launched, like you said. It tells all, all, all sorts of information. So if you're watching this live or you're watching the recorded version, do check it out. This is Yuzu's official website. Tells all about her career and how she's uh, uh, how she reached that level where she's reached. So so if we just can uh, just to talk about so what what kind of stuff you had did you have to face in Hollywood? What kind of discrimination? as an Asian artist did you have to go through? Well, I think, uh, you know, it's um, it, it has been difficult because I sometimes underestimate because I have always um, had the luck to be able to succeed in all the tasks and endeavors I wanted to do since I was a very young kid. And so whether in China or in the in, in Europe, I actually went to school in the UK as well, went to the LAC. So um, I went to university there. So um, I never faced any difficulties, whether as an artist or also as an influencer in the fashion. I did a lot of modeling as well. And so I, I, I in a way, underestimated that whatever track record I have had in the fields of art or fashion um, would have been translated easily into the film world. And right. I think uh, as the observation is uh, that Europe is much more open to um, experimental uh, crossovers and experimental uh, explorations as versus Hollywood is much more um, protective of the talents and uh, is more reluctant to be open to um, newcomers and so that's why there are a lot of agents and gate they called gatekeepers um, so I, I, I faced actually um, you know a lot of difficulties in really line up the cast and um, so it has been a, a little bit difficult I we started preparing yeah. the movie in 2021 um, for my first movie it's called stars and scars and uh, but you know we have been really uh, delayed by the pandemic and also by the difficulties of lining up the cast because in hollywood regardless i have worked with many prominent people uh, whether they are from the U.S. or international or, or Asian, um, according to Hollywood standards, yeah. I'm still considered um, a first-time director. I've done many shorts. So I went to different festivals as well as Sundance many times. But um, regardless of that, um, I'm still considered a first-time director for feature film. And so when you're a first-time director, I'm, I've had been learning from my experience, is that the gatekeepers, they have a reluctance in giving the talent to um to you so i'm trying to mm. understand the hollywood language which is a language per se and to be able to navigate through um these difficulties um although i must um really thank all the people that have been helping me um from my you know agents and pr team um to friends and just genuine people that have been um, advising me and um, collaborating and uh, being patient and as well as the production team and all the people that have been involved with the movie since 2021 and with my projects and um, and then still you know um, believing me and uh, pushing you know forward for my projects to um, 
to power through. And so I don't want to give up. I've never given up uh, because uh, of that as well. And also for um, my own credibility to be able to, um, you know, bring to life uh, whatever I have um, promised to them and publicly as well. Um, but I have to still thank, um, you know, uh, prominent Hollywood executives that have been really helping me um, understand how things work and genuinely, you know, really advising me uh, out of their busy schedules and uh, to understand. But, you know, the executives cannot um, solve the problem because then, you know, there are many puzzles in the game that, you know, the talents and the agent, the manager, the lawyers, that they all have to agree uh, for um, the talents to be coming on board. And I, I, I have been uh, saddened uh, very much um, by that because I always actually talent was the least worry I had um, about the movie because I've uh, I have been having the chance mm. to meet a lot of talents at different occasions, um, you know, in China, in Europe, as well as in the U.S. Um, through, you know, different also initiatives or it can be fashion events or gatherings or dinners. So I've always had a very good yeah. contact with talents. I have really great, um, you know, uh, carnet d'adresse for uh, prominent talents. But then when it comes to, um, you know, uh, really working on the offers and working on um, making uh, yeah. just, this transition has been uh, difficult. <laughs> if you've seen any disruption on this. Um, yeah, no, no, absolutely rightly, absolutely rightly said, absolutely. Um, so like you said, and I like you like, like what you've um, sent to myself, uh, there, there, there is a big problem there with first time filmmakers. Uh, in Hollywood, do you think this is a problem across Hollywood, as just because uh, towards Asian filmmakers, or do you think is it not just Asian filmmakers? It could be any um, filmmakers. I think, um, you know, with the, with the with the recent wins of yeah. um, you know talents like Michelle Yeoh or Chloe Zhao, definitely there has more inclusivity in Hollywood. Definitely people pay more attention to Asians. I have personally never really experienced um, a sort of uh, racial discrimination uh, in regards to my movie projects. I think my biggest problem is, uh, you know, being considered first time director and my movies uh, um, is an ambitious movie. And I have a lot of expectations through our financing companies and investors and uh, co-producers um, for the movie to be up to a certain standard with a certain caliber of cast. And I think if I uh, did a movie which was, um, you know, a low budget movie, very low budget movie, which, which wouldn't require any prominent um, cast, um, I wouldn't be facing this problem. So I think my issue is um, definitely the caliber of cast that I need, but also uh, because in Hollywood, you know, if you're a first time director and you want a list uh, actor, um, it, the, the gatekeepers, the agents are, um, you know, more, um, reluctant uh, because uh, you know it's their career at stake and so it's uh it's i i kind of understand their standpoint from their standpoint but um i can only say that this has been a problem that has been uh paralyzing for me and um i've been trying i'm still trying to solve this problem and in the best way i can <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely because um like you said they probably are, are reluctant to come on board because like you said uh first time filmmakers um they are probably doing like um big budget films and that kind of stuff uh but yeah it is it is a problem which obviously needs to be resolved uh mm -hmm. so it gives it gives an opportunity to first filmmakers like yourself uh, and obviously you have been very very busy um uh, like you said you've launched a company in italy you've done it in uh, in usa america and you, you've lost something in uh, China as well? I started my company in China, yes, in uh, yeah. 2011, yes. 
uh, EJO Studio. It's a production advertising social media company. But uh, going back to the question of first timers, I think um, I it's it's something that I would like to raise awareness because I want to be able to share my own experience. I think nowadays, um, you know, it's 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 uh, it's becoming a trend for people to you know talk about difficulties they have had in their lives and in the past. So I wanted to take the chance to be able to also share something that has been um, a topic which is very dear to me, which is um, the first time filmmaker. And I think um, probably many talents people that wish to be. Um, making a first movie are facing similar um, issues and 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 so I just wanted to you know say to all of them also that you know um, for me I'm facing the same and and what can we do to be able to um, you know help each other and I hope to be able to bring support in the long run uh, to this issue or to this cause uh, of the first timer and and at the same time um, just to you know share my experience as a female entrepreneur female director um, how I have been trying to navigate through uh, this issue and what I'm seeing <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Definitely it's something we do need to be highlighted. Um, def def definitely. And uh, you um, talking about that, you, you've done uh, some remarkable. You've uh, uh, you've appeared uh, in a lot of ad, um, representing loads of brands such as Levi's and all, so many brands you've uh, represented uh, on there. So you, you've been very, very busy uh, in doing so much stuff the kind of portfolio you've done and uh, on there and you doing stuff on obviously uh, social media and obviously other the brands like I said uh, so you, you've already uh, established quite a quite a lot of stuff so who's who's actually um, who's actually uh, looking after the co the the, com the com company Apart from yourself, is it, do you have a team of people? Yes, I, I have a great team, so I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. And they, and they look after the company in Italy and uh, USA, or yes, different ones. Yes, correct. Okay, and what what's the have you have you is it in the works at the moment, or or is there any project which you recently? Uh, come out of released. Um, I have been really busy preparing the uh, feature films and navigating through these problems and creating these companies and you know organizations standpoint. And uh, recent projects have done a short recently, which is called Why Silence. We're gonna announce soon, and it's a short uh, about. Um, you know, in collaboration with uh, um, and dedicated to United Nations Human Rights Commission, and so I will be hearing uh, soon about it. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, definitely, and uh, and uh, just to mention um, uh, that uh, definitely uh, do check it out, do check her website out. Uh, it, it is on your screens um, on there. We will put the link on the video as well as on the audio version of the podcast episode. Uh, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> on there. So, yeah. And what what kind of budget are you looking at when you're doing your projects? Is it like, a, uh, have you already got a, a budget in mind? Okay, this is this is my budget and this is how I don't need to. I don't need to go over this budget, and um, and this is the ceiling. Yeah, we we have a budget, but you know we're flexible as well to uh, really depend on various factors. Yes, we've done a budget. We have it, mm -hmm. and I'm really Absolute. excited because I will be Absolute. in so is it... mm -hmm. I will be in CinemaCon next week. In Vegas, and it's my first time participating to CinemaCon. Fantastic. CinemaCon team has been really great to me and um, helping me also understand, the, you know, the conferences, all the various activities, and really looking forward. Yeah, absolutely, definitely, and and that's um, something um, which is very very exciting. What you're doing. 
uh, on there. And obviously, there's um, if 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 you want to check it out, do check it out. Uh, Into the Sun Entertainment dot com is the website of her company. Into the Into the Sun Entertainment dot com is is on there. You you will be able to, you will be able to check it out. It tells you everything about it and how to contact everything. What, what's happening? Um, all the information is on there. And uh, yeah, uh, it, absolutely. So that, that's very, very uh, exciting stuff for what you're doing at the moment. And uh, so it shows that obviously, even though, um, so you, the project itself, are you doing everything yourself then? Are you like, uh, are you who's directing the project? Are you directing the project? Well, I have a great team that works with me for the movie. So, and we have co producers and producers as well and financiers and also great below the line and um, but uh i definitely wear different hats i'm the um director i'm one of the producers and um and that's it <laughs> and i wrote it <laughs> so this is a project which is which is being released in uh in in hollywood yes correct and are you releasing anything in uh, China at the moment? Is there anything in the works? Um, hopefully the movie will be also for Chinese market. <laughs> Chinese market, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, fantastic. That's something which you guys need to check out. Do check it out on there. And obviously do check out her website, which is on your screens. Uh, do check it out on there. He is in inkinc.com uh, on there and uh, that is very very uh, exciting stuff uh, on there so, so yeah absolutely like you said uh, Hollywood is for the first time filmmaker and, and probably for the first time actor or ac actress as well um, I think um, it probably be a similar situation where you know uh, you would have to uh, put yourself across, probably struggle a, a lot to get there, to get to get some kind of recognition uh, on there. But uh, you, you've already established so so much in short period of time. Did you think you would be able to do that that quickly? Um, I think it's a lot of hard work, definitely. But um, yes, get in there. And in terms of acting, I think. It's not something that I was dreaming about or something, but I've always been in my shorts and different ones I've done. Uh, I've done a lot of advertising and, um, you know, I have been offered also some movie roles recently. So we are definitely considerate. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, def def definitely, definitely. Uh, that's very, very uh exciting stuff there and, and obviously you mentioned that uh, on there so do check it out do check out our production like i said into the spawn entertainment.com do check that out uh, lots of fascinating stuff on there tells her about the projects what she's doing uh we'll put the links on the video description afterwards um and we will obviously put them on the audio version of the podcast which will be shortly uploaded um Thank shortly you. um mm -hmm. on then we will be sharing and we will be sharing the links on social media as well on the social media handlers, yes. Twitter, and Facebook, follow also global Instagram. Intuition brand. Follow also Global Intuition Brand, Sorry? my friend. Follow also GlobalIntuitionBrand.com. Absolutely, absolutely, and do follow, do follow, do follow that. Absolutely, um, yeah, definitely, definitely, and uh, it, it's lots, lots of interesting information on there. Uh, uh, which uh, it uh, showcases uh, on there. Uh, we ha we have had some glitches today with the with the Wi-Fi, but obviously I need to speak to them regarding that what's happening um, because uh, I think it just there are some issues. <clears throat> but yeah, absolutely, definitely um, on there. Yes, and um, so so it's something which uh, needs to be. Uh, checked out uh, and uh, have have you when you launched these companies uh, have you like um, uh, did you have to take out any kind of a funding or is it all yourself 
Self-funded. Mm -hmm. is, is, it, is it funded by yourself or, or have, have yeah, you had to like get help? It's their private funding, as well? yes. Private funding, yes. Mm -hmm. Private funding? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. That's 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 a very very exciting. Uh, and also, what would you like to say to those people who are knowing about you now and maybe who haven't known about you? Uh, what, what what's coming up in two, this year, two thousand and twenty-three? Well, I think just to you know check out our social media and check out. Uh, the different news and that we put out both for my brand and for my movie projects and movie companies and so stay tuned mm -hmm. uh, like I said our upcoming projects will be in um, will be in um, uh, on the on, on Friday and it's a fundraising for UN women and and then next week will be cinema con we also have a dinner um, at Tao, uh, celebrating CinemaCon by Interesting Entertainment. Um, and then I will be in Canton Festival in, in the month of May. And, uh, you know, we will be sharing news as they come along. So we're really excited. All right. Absolutely. Definitely. Do, do please check it out. Do, do, do check out her website, uh, which is on, on below. And also her social media links are on there. So do check her out and, and you can follow her on her social media links as well, as well as her YouTube channel uh, on there. Uh, definitely do, do, do check that do check that out. Um, and uh, she has lots of exciting stuff coming. And if you if you see her at Cinecom, do say hi to her. Um, if you see her down there, and uh, there's lots of very, very exciting uh, stuff on there and we will obviously uh mention that as well and we are going to mention that on our podcast regarding to watch out for your exciting uh projects which are coming up and 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 definitely and we also also will definitely mention uh about the hollywood um struggles because obviously it's something which needs to be highlighted um so so other people can get help um as Thank well you. i appreciate uh, can get help um, and that kind of uh, uh, that kind of stuff. Like I said, if anybody has any issue today, uh, then we do apologize. There are some technical issues with the streaming, which I'm going to resolve. But yes, absolutely, uh, do check it. Do check it out um, on there and uh, on the Zoo. And is there anything else you would like to add on here? Uh, like anything else you would like to? I think we covered pretty much everything we wanted to cover, and I'm really. Hmm. Grateful for your time and for everybody following and for um, you know being able to um, share and um, promote uh, the cause. <laughs> Thank you, and we will Thank definitely you. promote the cause. Thank you very much for coming on on there. And, and, and I know you weren't that well a few days ago, but uh, but. Uh, Thank you for coming on. Thank you for your time. I'm wishing you lots of success for your companies. Thank you. Um, and your upcoming pro upcoming projects on there, and and we will definitely try to collaborate and bring you back on uh, when when your projects have launched. Um, I can mention it on the podcast. Great. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very thank much. You. Have a fantastic day. You too. Thank you very much. Sir.